perfect. And we're back, and today we're gonna run the Kyosho Mad Wagon again. This time we're gonna give it a more of a test. We got the ramp out. We got a couple places to run around. It's pretty flat here, but it's also really wide open. So we can uh, pretty much jump it as long as people and their stupid dogs stay away. We should be good. Um, let's see what this thing's got. Run it on 3S. Feels lively today. Lots of air control as you'd expect from a 10 scale. This thing handles so good. It drives really nice. Not even kidding. It's just so smooth. Way better than I expected. I mean, you wouldn't. Might need to adjust the jump in a different direction. I don't have a good line up here. It's ripping. Feels good. Oh, probably needs a little bit thicker oil. Just the body pops up on this stupid bumper. This thing's running good. Yeah, I like the way this thing handles. Keep saying that, but it, it does actually handle really well. Jumps good. I think we're gonna go with some thicker oil. It's bottoming out a little too rough. It's handling it, but definitely chassis slapping. Oh, oh, uh. oh. Still going? It's jumping further than I'm expecting it to. Holy crap, this thing launches like crazy. Whoa! <laughs> That was awesome, that's what we were looking for. Ooh, ooh, that 
That was rough. Well, it's holding up, guys. There's a lot less or more vehicles than this that would have been broken already. I'm very happy that it's holding up. Yeah, so it keeps rebounding. The reason they can't really land very well is because it needs thicker oil because when it's hitting, it's smacking the ground and bouncing it back up, which is giving a little bit of a durability test, which was my question with this truck. So far, so good, though. I mean, it's taken an abuse. I wasn't planning on... running it this hard but seems like it's wanting to just keep going oh. Flies through the air so nice though. So he jumps like that, it's okay. That one wasn't too far, too high. And so it actually took it pretty well, didn't bounce too much. That one it bounced a little bit. I know the front's a little soft. So everything I've done to this so far is basically just stock except for i did one thing after my first run that bothered me a little bit as i added a longer shock rod in uh, to the front shocks just to give it a little bit more droop and uh boy that sure fixed it up pretty good okay battery's dead Okay guys, that's it for the run of the Mad Wagon. I just went over every single square inch of this thing looking for any damage and there is zero damage except for scratches on the body, um, which is expected. Of course, this style bumper being chrome, it's not chrome anymore, but no damage. There's a slight bend in the rear shot, the rear body mount, but nothing broke. Um, it held up really well. Um, I abused it a little more than I was thinking I was going to today, but this thing, just drives so good um i would say after that run and a few previous runs i'd probably recommend this car uh it holds up really well i'm surprised that it's not more popular than it is um 
I would uh, definitely recommend the kit version if you can afford to do that, but they make it in a ready to run, which would get you there. And does come with decent electronics in the ready to run version. Um, it's a little higher than some, it's about 389 for the ready to run version. Um, but yeah, Mad Wagon's awesome. I like the little bit slightly longer wheelbase. Um, I think that's why it's launching so far because it handles a little bit better so you can get a little bit better speed to the run up of the ramp. And uh, you're just not realizing that it's going that much quicker where some of the shorter wheelbase, they just want to pull wheels. So anyway, guys, like, subscribe, and share. Hope you like this video. And uh, don't forget to shop at your local hobby shop. Thanks for watching.